Good morning. Welcome back to Costa Texpina. It's Saturday. That means payday. And it's build day number 76 today. The gentleman in the back are already um, ferrying hollow block up to the second floor, up to the attic floor slab, so that they can continue building the hollow block wall that they started yesterday. Mixing more mortar because they're going to use a lot of the mortar for uh, that hollow block. I hear the electrician ticking away at the concrete on the inside doing the uh, conduit chases. The gentlemen here in the front are getting ready to do more plaster coat. So they're prepping that wall. And around the back, I don't think I'm going to get there in time for the intro. Uh, around the back, the gentleman is uh, back doing uh, the window uh, moldings around the back of the, the master bedroom. Like I said, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day to be at work. Let's get started. All right, they're getting an early start this morning. They've already got the uh, window sills going in. He's starting to complete uh, the left side and then he'll continue around to the top uh, so they got the window moldings and he'll continue those today let's go take a look around the front and see what everybody else so inside the uh, master bedroom master suite area they are starting to put the forms in place for the columns and roof beams and they will continue that around the rest of the way this morning all right we're gonna work our way to the back I hear hammering going on. Lots of hammering going on. Morning. Hi, Mr. Talk. Morning. So we're doing uh, conduits again. A lot of chip, chip, chip. <laughs> you guys here in the front are prepping to do plaster coat. They're going to plaster coat this section here. And this section here. Morning. And they've already... Uh, Ferrying cement up as well. They've already made some mortar down here on the bottom for the guys that are doing plaster coat. Let's take a look. Yes, this is, this is the uh, plaster coat. Oh, sorry, the mortar that they'll use for the plaster coat. And they're pushing mortar upstairs, oh, concrete upstairs for them to use making um, mortar for the guys doing hollow block. We'll go up there later. All right, starting up here on the morning, on the top of the top of the world. Oh, sorry, that was a different show. Uh, we're up here on the top of the attic floor. Uh, they're prepping a large pile of mortar. Morning. morning. Large pile of mortar they're going to be working on. So this is all sand and concrete being mixed. The uh, electrician, Mr. Tuck, on the side over there is uh, helping get the conduit in place. That'll be all the conduit chases coming up to the top. These gentlemen here are getting their uh, markers in place so that they know what's straight, where to get their uh, where to get their blocks placed at. Make sure they're they're all flush on the same same line. So right now they're putting the boards to make sure it's square this way, and then they'll put a string line for each course as they go up. So as you see down here, Mr. Uh, Jericho placed the, the string line uh, right here, and that'll be the top of the first course. So what they're gonna do is they'll put that bead of uh, mortar down here at the bottom, then they'll start placing the first uh, hollow block, and onward it goes. And they're gonna work that the rest of the way around. All right, so that's the view from uh, the top of the world as we are up here. All right, all right, we're gonna do a mid-morning walk around and see where everybody's at so far. Um, working on the plaster coating on the front face of the building. Got a couple guys doing this particular wall, a little section in between uh, bedroom three and um, the dining room. Sorry, this section here is actually the exterior wall for the Jack and Jill bath. And then 
Mr. Anjo is continuing to work the window sill, oh sorry, window molding. Um, this is around the dining room. Let's go take a look inside. Mr. Tuck is finished for the moment here in bedroom two. We've got a switch just as soon as we come in the main door. Um, we have a switch before we go into the laboratory. We've got outlets for the cable and um, power outlet for the TV that's going to go most likely right here. And then the switch for the closet area. So we can turn the switch on before we look inside the closet. All right, this area looks good uh, for, for the moment. He's still got to come back later and he'll cut out the conduit runs for those switches later. All right, let's go back on the other side. I believe he, or Mr. Tolk already moved into the, um, back into the living room. Like I said, the, they really kind of hop around quite a bit. Um, they work where space is available. So he's over in the corner, um, continuing with uh, outlet chases. I think I need an umbrella. <laughs> Let's go take a look in the uh, master suite. Guys in here are continuing to work the forms for the columns and uh, roof beams. Uh, head on back out and go look All up right. top. we're cruising along on the exterior on the uh, wall for the attic three courses on this side three courses on that piece they're getting ready to turn the corner go out to do the uh, dormer window and we're continuing up on the east wall Already up six courses. All right. So they'll finish putting in the mortar down here on this end. And you notice they've already got a tie rod connecting in, tied in as well to keep the, the wall from moving one way or the other. And this is tied in through the columns as well. Okay, that's a uh, business from high atop of the attic floor. All right, we're gonna do a post-lunch mid-afternoon walk around. You see up on the uh, top there, the guys are still continuing with the hollow block for the wall. I'll take a better shot with the drone here in a little while and give you a better shot of that let's go walk around the front of the building <clears throat> jack and jill bath <clears throat> excuse me jack and jill bath wall there is just about complete it looks like he's moving over to the side wall area between bedroom three and the uh, dining room is still working he did finish the side wall right here so he did that one today and we're still working on the windows uh, molding for the dining room coming along very nicely Go take a look inside the house. <clears throat> Mr. Tuck is still roughing in the electric for uh, the living room. Let's go see what they're doing back here in the in the master. <clears throat> The 
master. We're working on the forms for the roof beams and the columns. Column over here. So they're starting to turn the corner, come around the west wall. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We're pouring concrete this afternoon. Well, they've got this uh, corner formed up. So they went ahead and started getting it ready to pour. That way it'll have all weekend to set. Uh, when they come back in on Monday, they'll be able to take the forms off and move on to the next section. So they're going from this column Maybe just a little bit past it. They probably they usually fill up the end with um, old concrete uh, bags uh, to to block it off, and then they'll fill up back this direction, come around this column, and finish it because it was still open about halfway down where you see the the hollow block versus the plaster coat, and then continue around the corner and about halfway up this side. So then on Monday, when they come back in, they'll uh, go ahead and finish this up. All right, so here on the front side of the house, um, they've completed the wall here for the Jack and Jill. Um, the wall between bedroom three and the um, dining room, they completed the side wall, but this uh, the large wall here is about halfway they're going to complete the lower half this afternoon uh, just the initial the initial uh, piece of plastering uh, they'll come back and do the finish on it on monday uh, so this is just kind of a a rough coat they'll leave it at that over the weekend come back and, and finish coat it on uh, monday morning all right from uh, high atop the attic floor slab they have completed seven Courses of hollow block on this side. This is on the east wall. Notice we face the right. That's the east side of the house. We got six on the back, south side, overlooking the master bed, master bedroom. We can see from up here on top a little better that they're doing the uh, 
the concrete for the roof beam and columns. So they started here at this column. They're gonna come around, go through this column here and about halfway up this beam. All right, and back over here on the side, up here on the attic floor, still working on the hollow block. Um, we're doing the walls around the outside edge. This is the uh, where the dormer window is going to be. And then they've also done this other side here. Uh, only about four courses in the middle. They stepped it down this way on the corner because this is where they're going to interlock the uh, blocks as they come through. Notice down here on the side, they'll, so one goes this way, one goes that way, one goes this way, one goes that way. That way they interlock together, uh, gets better strength on the corner. Oh, it's yabba dabba do time. You guys just uh, finished putting the tools away, taking the showers, getting ready to go home. Um, we got a lot uh, accomplished today. We have a lot of the uh, hollow block up on the attic floor slab completed. Um, they did some plaster coating up here in the front, uh, finished off another one of the window moldings on the uh, dining room window, as well as we started pouring some of the roof beams and columns this afternoon. Surprise, surprise, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, turned my head, went over there and looked in the master, I was like, they're uh, pouring concrete. So they were pouring concrete and I was like, oh wow, look at that. So we got that started. Um, so yeah, like I said, focus is on the top. Uh, starting from the top with the uh, attic floor slab and the uh, roof beams and columns. So we're moving right ahead. So uh, that wraps up this week. Uh, week number three since post pandemic, or well, not really post pandemic, but since we got back to work. Um, so if y'all liked today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. Have a great afternoon, have a great weekend, and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.